Herd immunity is also known as population immunity. And it's the concept that if you can achieve a certain level of vaccination in a population, you protect not only the people who themselves have been vaccinated, but you protect everybody else uh, in the community as well. We know that in, with any vaccine, not everybody is going to be vaccinated either because they have a medical reason why they can't be vaccinated, or sometimes they may be vaccinated but not be protected as well as other people. So if we can achieve that high enough level, they will be protected in addition to everybody else. What that level of herd immunity needs to be really varies by disease. So for an example of measles, which is uh, among the most contagious diseases that we know, we need to have at least 95% of people in a community vaccinated to protect everybody else. And we can't rely on um, natural infections to achieve that um, because even if everybody's been exposed, you're always gonna have new people entering the community as babies are being born and they're gonna be susceptible. Now for COVID, because it's not as contagious as measles, we estimate that the level of herd immunity needs to be between 50 and 70%. So at least half of people in the community need to be vaccinated or otherwise immune in order to get, on, get ahead of this pandemic and really stop the outbreak from happening. Unfortunately, even with all the illnesses that we've already seen in the United States, it's estimated that fewer than 10% of people are already immune because they've been exposed to the disease already. So we really can't rely on, you know, just letting more and more infections happen to get to a 50% level because you'd think about how many additional deaths and, and severe illnesses we would have to experience to get to that 50% level. Vaccination really is going to be a cornerstone of getting to that herd immunity. And once we achieve that and we start to see fewer cases of COVID, COVID will eventually start to die down and we can start to you know, resume a more normal lifestyle. In the meantime, we will still have to continue all the other things as well, the social distancing, masking, frequent hand hygiene, and all the rest.